What a Dooski guys, it's Fellow 34 back with another episode of Super Science. With the Flash returning back to our TV screens in a week or so and having ruined the timeline once again, for this episode we thought why not dive into the possibilities of parallel universes and the butterfly effect. Let's get into the Super Science. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start with the definition of the butterfly effect. A property of chaotic systems as the atmosphere by which small changes in initial conditions can lead to large scale and unpredictable variations in the future state of the system. A perfect comic book example of this would be when the Flash goes back in time to save his mother, which he thinks is a small victimless act. However, this really disturbs the timeline because certain other events are changed due to this butterfly effect. When predicting something, you really must take into account all the factors, even things that you might think are small or insignificant. For example, if I went back in time and I killed a fly, well, you know, we might have Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton as president. Oh, wait. Now on to parallel universes. Although they aren't an exact science because we can't really see outside of our own existing universe, that being its biggest restriction, there are many theories though on whether they do or do not exist. One of the theories and probably the most popular theory is the quantum universe one. Pretty much it's that every single decision that you have ever made, another universe has all the other options. A good example of this would be in the series community where they roll a dice in the air and all the other different universes are shown with a different dice roll. Here's another example. Let's say that you get a job offer in Canada. but choose not to take this offer, in another universe, you would have taken that offer. And this is where the butterfly effect comes in. This is because so many different changes would have happened had you got that job offer. So in this new reality, you'd actually be living in Canada opposed to the place that you would be if you didn't take the offer. And this could lead to a variety of different things like not meeting the person you were gonna be with, living in a different place, and so on and so forth. Other theories include things like there may be an identical universe, but they may not follow our laws of physics and other laws that our universe has to follow and many others. Overall, we don't know whether or not this is even possible. Who knows, maybe one day we'll be able to visit ourselves from another universe that has a really cool goatee and a black eye patch. Hey, could you come here for a second, uh, Fable 34? Someone's calling me. And that's it for this episode of Super Science on Parallel Universes and the Butterfly Effect. Thank you guys as always for checking out this episode of Super Science. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Hyper Network if you have not already. Also, feel free to check out my channel, Farewell34, in the description down below. What did you guys think about this episode on Parallel Universes and the Butterfly Effect? Was it trippy? Do you have any more questions about it? Let us know in the comment section down below as well. As always, I'm your host, Farewell34. This is Super Science, and you just got educated. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.